Hello again. I think this is uh, number three on the core winding. Um, what I've done is mounted the coil into my drill press here. Got it really zoomed in because I want to show you how I'm going to tape it. But I've taken the belts off so it really spins really easy, uh, which seems to just help. Anyway, so what I've done is made sure to uh, wrap my end over this wire the first time and then under it the second time. So that just kind of helps to pin it in there once you uh, get started. And I've also created a bunch of little pieces of tape um, for when you want to take a break. You can hold everything and take a break. The other way, uh, another thing I've done is made some shims, probably can't see them good, I'll zoom out here in a second, but um, made some shims so I can lock the spindle in place at different times too. Uh, so anyway, um, as far as taping this, I like to kind of tape it at a, uh, a taper here and not pinch the wire or create a huge uh, uh, pin pinch point there, and so it's a little bit freer, it seems like. Once you get the whole thing wound, so if you need a little extra, you might be able to get it out of there. Anyway, take some tape here and just tape it all the way around there. Bring the wire up. Make sure to tape this good because I don't want it to be in my way. In fact, I'm going to take a little razor blade right here and just trim away this tape. Anything that catch this wire okay one little piece in here it's being a bugger So I'd say that's pretty darn good. And of course this looped around wrong. Okay. There we go. So then I just start pushing it down all the way to get it started. Kind of hold pressure on here with my fingers and Pull on the wire and just start a spinning. The neater the better, but gets a little messy as you keep going. I don't know if you can see this real well. I, I might want to take a look, but just keep working your way up. Try not to have any gaps. As much as possible, you're going to get a few. And then when you want to stop, you just put a little pressure on there, so keep everything from spinning. And then start working your way. 
way back down. This is where it starts to get funky and things start catching and it's not as neat as you want it, but you know, can't get it perfect doing it this way. Just try to do it evenly so each layer is even. And I'm going to pause here and zoom out so you can kind of get a better, bigger picture. Maybe even go to uh, part four, I would say. All right. Pin it and then wedge it. Whip. Wedge is wrong. There we go. Alright, then you can take a break.